Hello everybody, this is the Mothership here, and today I am joined by... Hofster. And we are going to be doing the Q&A that you guys have been sending in over the last few weeks. You've been sending in questions, and we're going to answer all of these questions really quick regarding Roll the Mad God. Later we're going to do a personal Q&A regarding our lives. So the first question we have is, what is your favorite class for farming, and what class is easy to get rich with? Personally, I would say my favorite class for farming is Knight, followed by Paladin or Mystic, for just, like, hanging out in Galdens and having fun, and to get rich with, I think the Knight. Sam, what um, would you say? Personally, I think the wizard's really good, especially if you've got that ST spell. You can perfect spell bomb everything if you're pretty good at wizard. And uh, best class for getting rich, I'd say a knight. You can run abysses and spirals very quick. Exactly. Okay. Now, next question is, why is your name Mothership and Hofster? And how did you start YouTube? We're actually going to be covering this in its own video um, at some point in the future. So just stay tuned for that. We're not going to answer it here. Now, what do you think is going to happen now that Month of the Mad God is over, Sam? Well, I hope Deco will go into more of developing new content and balancing things out uh, more than just respriting stuff. Although that is nice to see changes. Um, I think more changes in loot and balancing is better for Realm. Yeah, I think we're going to see more dungeons and more actual content coming in pretty soon. So I think that's going to be pretty cool since Deco's sort of been teasing it with the reskins and stuff. We're kind of waiting for the real stuff to come in. Now, how long did it take you to get your first event white, Sam, and any tips on finding events? Well, it took about three and a half years, and uh, I managed to get it from a Penner Act, and I was pretty excited. Um, any tips for events? Well, just sit around in a realm, kill some Ents and Ghost Kings until things spawn, and uh, go to the events. Yeah, my first event white was about a year and a half into the game. I found a tablet. That was awesome. Sidios was pissed. And any tips on finding events? Uh, I would say just get on a rogue and farm out the quests near Godlands and the Ents and everything and try to get some of those events to spawn quickly. Now the next question we have is, did you ever hack? Uh, I've never hacked in, I think, any game. I've seen people hack in Minecraft, though. How about you, Sam? Personally, I was a proud user of Minecraft X-Ray Texture Packs. Oh, you're right. I did that, too. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. Coming clean here. Okay, how about in Realm of the Mad God? No. No? No hacks? Okay. Sadly. We don't hack, guys. We don't endorse hacking, either. When did you first start playing Realm? Um, Sam, when did you start playing Realm? Five years and 30 days ago. Really? Five years and 30 days ago? That's a pretty long time ago. It's uh, very interesting. It was actually five years and 20 days ago. Oh, it wasn't? Yeah. It was, because it was August 11th. Check anyway, Realm I. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. But I first started playing Realm uh, the day after the fifth day of school, because I was in freshman year. So that was three years ago. Um, Hofster was actually in my class for freshman advisory. And if you don't know what that is, it's just like teaching freshmen how to do things. And he was like, hey, Ray, you're my new friend. I want you to try this game out so we can play it together. And I made a priest and got it to level 12. Then I died. And then I decided to start playing on Steam. So that's pretty much how I got into Realm. Uh, what were your first impressions of Realm? Um, I thought it was pretty legit. I was like, whoa, this is fun. I suck at it. I don't even screen rotate. How about you, Sam? <laughs> you don't screen rotate. Uh, Nobody should... screen rotates at the start. Yeah, okay. Well, I thought it was like just a normal game, and I started playing, and eventually it grew on me, and now I spend like 12 hours a day on it. Please send help. That's an understatement. It's 14 in the summer. What is the most useful white bag in the game, in your opinion? IMO, I would say probably, I don't know, I think the D-Blade's a pretty awesome and useful white bag, but I gotta say, um, the, ooh, the crown, or the prot are pretty, pretty, uh, useful. Yeah, yeah, Doombo, um, that completely changes how the class is played, as well as prot, yeah. Very good one, yeah. Um, I would say also really, really big one here, um, in the, uh, the spider den, the spider fang dagger, um, it really just changes up how you use, especially the rogue, um, it's just that extra added DPS is so, <laughs> okay, it's horrible, please don't put that on, <laughs> okay, rarest white bag you've ever gotten, Sam, uh, quat or flag, quat, good one, the rarest white bag I've ever gotten is probably gonna be a tablet i'd say is probably the rarest yeah or the cursed amulet of zombification <laughs> um when will you do a ppe or giveaway um 
this is kind of regarding me because I need to set up my new computer entirely and then we're going to be doing a split screen PPE. So that is going to be awesome. You're going to see Hofster and I doing the PPE at the same time. And for giveaways, um, we don't know. Just whenever we feel like doing a giveaway, they'll come out. Maybe 10k. Yeah, 10k could probably be a pretty huge giveaway. Like yeah. some Vampiris skins. Now what? What? What item would you take out of Realm of the Night God and what item would you add in? Sam, thoughts? Uh, remove or... Pixie. Uh, it completely Pixie. like breaks the night and all the other classes. It kind of gets rid of the purpose of like, you gotta go deep on orcs too to get loot. No, you just gotta stand back and cheese him with your Pixie now. Yeah, it's basically a dagger. Vampire daggers from Terraria. What item would you take out of Realm? I would take out the Etherite and I would probably add in if I could, um, I'd add in an item for melees that would do something like give you berserk damaging and uh, armor break at the same time. So it'd be like glass cannon. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. What would you add in, Sam, if you could add any item? Uh, there's been this item on Reddit before. It's a tome that gives berserk and damaging to self and heals. Just makes the priest do a little more damage and help it get SB in. Mm, that's a good really idea. Cool. Yeah, I like that. What was your first white? Uh, my first white was in a Mad Lab. I found ink. If I can find the screenshot, I'll put it on the screen. But uh, that was pretty cool. I was very excited about that. And I even made a, a whole Let's Play regarding uh, getting my ink. Sam? Mine was an EP, and I sold it for 150 defense. That's a lot of defense. <laughs> okay. Uh, and favorite three items in the game. I gotta say, my favorite three items would probably be the regular d blade since the abyss is my favorite dungeon the uh the pura would be a very good one in my opinion and as well i would say i really 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 like the um candy coated armor for like warrior how about you sam uh endless torment at the top Okay. Just because it's really shiny and I want one. The skull of yeah, Endless Torment. Skull. For those of you that don't know, it's the UT skull from Shaden. Yeah, the Plague Poison next because I love lagging. Um, yes, that's Especially a good one. love lagging in the Deadwater Docks. Uh, if I kill you, I'm sorry. And then probably the Dirk Kronos because it's probably the coolest combination of colors. Okay, so that concludes our Q&A video, guys. Thank you for joining us. And thank you, Hofster, for being here to make this a multi-perspective Q&A video. Do you have any words to say to the people? I'm really tired. Hofster's really tired, apparently. Okay. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Um, I think we hit 6,000 subs today. So awesome. Later.